Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, where we explore fascinating topics that intrigue and excite us. I'm so happy and thankful to each one of you for being here with me today. So thank you for your never-ending love for me and my contents. And to those of you that are new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. I also wanted to remind everyone that this Saturday November the 11th marks the opening of the 11 11 portal, perfect for making our wishes and releasing them to the universe to come true instantly. So stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends. Watch until the end of this video, where I teach you on how to manifest your wishes so that they come true. There's a lot of energy coming through. And it's now time for us to actually embrace that energy and use it towards creating our desires. Whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest into the world, now is the time for you to do it, my friends. This beautiful energy is coming through. It's allowing us to really amplify the energies that we are putting out there into the universe. And if we're able to really make a choice around what it is that we want, this energy is there to help support us. So spirit guides, and the universe are conspiring in our favor here with this 11, 11 portal my friends. Let's utilize it on November the 11th, it's the perfect date to set an intention. Light a candle and manifest. Put your manifestations out there into the universe. That energy that is coming in through that 11, 11 portal is going to help manifest them into your reality. It's just like the full moon rituals I had already taught you how to do several times before. It's all about letting go of things that no longer serve us, and setting intentions, and allowing this energy to help amplify those manifestations, those dreams, those wishes. So everyone, make sure that you set an intention on the 11th. This Saturday November the 11th, marks the opening of the 11, 11 portal. It's a very powerful portal. It's an enchanting day, perfect for making our wishes and releasing them to the universe to come true instantly. Here, I'm going to share with you exactly how to manifest your wishes so that they come true. On this day, find a quiet and calm spot at any time to write a letter to the universe. The key is to be in a calm and relaxed state. Start with your full name and birth date at the top of the page. And write, thank you universe. And here, express your gratitude for all the blessings you already have in your life. Remember that gratitude attracts success and abundance. After expressing gratitude, list 11 wishes, write them in the present tense as if you already have them, and the more specific the better. For example, I am in a healthy relationship with a loving and faithful partner. And finish the letter by writing. Thank you universe for everything you will give me from now on. Finally, put the letter under a glass of water with a bay leaf and keep it there until November the 22nd. On that day, take the letter out and place it in a drawer until November the 11th 2024. On this future date, Read the letter once more, then burn it while expressing gratitude. And you know, if we're able to set an intention on the 11th using that 1111 portal energy, very powerful energy that is coming through here, this is the perfect time for new beginnings for us. If you have set an intention, if you have initiated something in your life recently, this portal energy is coming through. But it's also helping that manifestation take form, that prayer take form, that wish take form. So I hope that makes sense to you. Okay? And remember, 
Any kind of endings you're experiencing in your life are actually meant to happen because either you have set that intention, you have initiated the process, or you're wanting to create that change in your life. So this 11, 11 portal energy, especially if you're praying for change to come into your life, it's now bringing that change in for you. So what spirit guides want you to do is to not focus on this energy of endings, right? Instead, as you're going through this process, look at yourself. Look at your life. What areas of your life can you improve right now? Where can you put that energy and that nurture and that emotion towards, in order to grow those areas of your life? That's all for now, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to make a thumbs up and subscribe for more spiritual contents. Don't forget to comment down below and share your thoughts. Until next time.